When it's cold outside, we find refuge indoors, where our heating systems keep us nice and warm. It's a critical part of every home, but heating is one of the biggest CO2 emitters, and in order to reach net zero, we need to change the ways we heat our homes and buildings. Did you know that 40% of global emissions come from buildings? And most of those emissions result from the way we heat our homes and businesses. Today, in the northeastern U.S., around 65% of homes heat with natural gas, and around 25% use either oil or propane as their main heating fuel, all of which contribute to carbon emissions. To reach our net zero goals, we need to transform the ways in which we heat our homes and buildings. We don't have all the answers yet, but there are a few key solutions to decarbonizing heating. Improving energy efficiency to reduce heat demand. It might seem obvious, but one solution is to reduce the amount of heat we need to generate. Energy efficiency methods like insulation can help save energy by reducing the amount of heat that escapes from a building. Not only does this benefit the environment by reducing emissions from heating, but it also helps you save money on your energy bills. Installing efficient electric heat pumps. Heat pumps absorb heat from the air outside the home or from the ground. Paired with better insulation, heat pumps are a very green option. While easy enough to install in new buildings, retrofitting old buildings to use heat pumps can be challenging. You might also need to make other modifications, like fitting new radiators, underfloor heating, or hot water tank. This means that heat pumps are one of the more expensive options, but they have the potential to reduce your heating bills in the long term. Decarbonizing our gas supply. Using natural gas for heating contributes around 35% of greenhouse gas emissions in the northeastern U.S. So one solution is to decarbonize our gas networks by replacing the natural gas with low and zero carbon gases. One of the options currently being developed is biogas, also known as renewable natural gas, or RNG. Biogas is produced by the decomposition of organic matter and can come from livestock waste, wastewater, landfills, food waste, and other renewable sources. These resources can be turned into pipeline quality gas and injected into the existing network in place of natural gas. This means it could be a cost-effective solution, changing the fuel we're using rather than our whole heating system. Another option that's being looked at is hydrogen, which could be blended into our existing network, meaning less natural gas is needed. How do we get there? Switching fuel sources is a long-term plan. We need to ensure that we have the right skills to progress to decarbonize heating. For example, in the U.S., we'll need more skilled installers to meet the increased demand for heat pumps. Every home is different, so there's no one-size-fits-all solution to how we will heat our buildings in the future. And it may be that the best solution is a combination of the different approaches. But we can get some quick wins by improving insulation in floors, lofts, and windows. While making these improvements requires some upfront spending, the energy savings translate to longer-term cost savings as well. And who doesn't like that? Decarbonizing our heating is a big job and it will impact all of us. And the many different types of buildings we have to heat makes it all the more challenging. But by employing a variety of approaches and by leveraging the reliable grid infrastructure we already have, we can begin making strides toward net zero. And that should make you feel warm all over. <laughs>